So you're a quantum experience user. Have you ever wondered what happens when you press run? Well, in this video, we're going to make a little quantum circuit and then find out. First, let's open up the quantum experience website. We're going to start a new circuit. Now let's drag over some gates and some measurements. OK, our circuit's all ready. Let's press Run. What's happening? Well, first, the circuit is converted to a chasm file, which is a type of quantum script file. Then that script is sent to the quantum processor in the lab. So now let's head over to the lab and check that out. So we're here in the lab, and the chasm file that we generated online has made its way over the internet to a computer like this the computer turns those chasm files into instructions for waveform generators that can create pulses of specific frequency and shape to control the qubit. The pulses travel over coaxial cables up here and down to the fridge where our experiment is located. The fridge is off right now so that we can look inside, but normally uh, the experiment would be contained by several layers of shielding, and at the bottom here, the temperature is only 15 milli-degrees above absolute zero. The actual experiment is located in this shielding can, and that would be a, a five qubit uh, quantum chip. The control pulses travel down these uh, cables to the experiment, where they control the state of the qubit, and after that, we send down a series of measurement pulses, also along these cables, which interact with the qubit, and then travel back up along these cables, and then back to this computer where they're converted into the results that we see online. And now you know what happens when you press run on the quantum experience. 